Hello, what's good, and welcome to CSC Sports. I'm your host, Jay Howard, and today I want to talk about Tracy McGrady signing with the San Antonio Spurs. As you guys know, Tracy McGrady was playing in the China League. He was over there in China playing basketball. He was averaging some good numbers. His numbers were like 25 points per game, 7.2 rebounds, and 5.1 assists per game for Tracy McGrady this year in China. Tracy McGrady has played for about five or six teams. He was drafted by the Raptors. He played for the Magic, the Rockets, Knicks, Detroit, Atlanta. Then he went to China. Spurs just cut Steven Jackson. They needed another backup small forward, and they got Tracy McGrady. Earlier, before the season started, Tracy McGrady, I think he worked out for the Spurs, and it was entertaining the thought of working him out. But anyway it goes, I think it's a great fit. The Spurs are thin at the three. I was shocked they let go of Jackson because Jackson was a goon and he was the only tough guy on the team, in my opinion. But Kawhi Leonard has came around. I think he is starting to get it. You know what I mean? Uh, Danny Green is a 2-3, but he's more of a 2. They needed another small forward. Now, let's look at the big picture. For the last three years, the Spurs have had outstanding regular seasons, winning 50-plus games the last three seasons. Going into the playoffs this year, the Spurs are beat up. Manu's not healthy. Um, they just let go of Steven Jackson. Boris Diaz is not healthy. And Tony Parker is nursing back and forth with injury. And Tim Duncan is up in age, but he's playing phenomenal. In my opinion, I think T-Mac can get them over the hump. Because they finally brought in a guy, in my opinion, he's only 33 years old, that... Even if you gave him 10 minutes a game and you gave him touches in that 10 minutes that he plays, he, he got a certain, like, say if you gave T-Mac eight touches a game, you know what I mean? I think those eight touches can help on the San Antonio Spurs. And the reason I think he can help the Spurs more than anything is because the Spurs run a motion offense and the Spurs like to shoot the basketball. So T-Mac getting touches and missing shots and, he, and he, then he starts to get his hot hand. I think that only helps the Spurs. See, this, Pop is not the type of coach that sits you down for missing shots. He encourages you to shoot more when you're missing. That's the type of coach he is. I remember he was telling Matt Bonner that one um, playoff run. Matt Bonner didn't have his jumper going. And he encouraged him to keep shooting. So by T-Mac being on a team that likes to shoot the ball, I think he fits in perfect. And I think he fits in perfect from this perspective, too. He can put the ball on the floor and he can drive to the bucket. So in my opinion, I think that this is a good pickup. I don't know what your opinion is. I think that T-Mac can actually help the Spurs. I don't know if Pop is going to play him. But if you give him, man, they're so beat up, you might have to give him at least 15 minutes a game. You never know. But I think he can help you. Six foot eight, he can bring the ball up the floor, create his own shot. I think he can help. I don't know what you guys think about T-Mac signing with the San Antonio Spurs. Peace, and I'm out.